this is a historical moment for St. Lucia. One, because we've never gotten a request out of any country where they've asked for so many women. We originally had one female on the program and um, this was through some understanding between her husband who was on the farm and his employer. So this lady has been on the program for about seven years. But to get a request of such magnitude, like 40 women, is indeed a great thing for St. Lucia. At this time, we are actually witnessing a historic moment in St. Lucia, where this is the first time we will be having women recruited to work on the farm program in Canada. We have had this program for many decades, but never had the opportunity to have women as farm workers. For us, this was one of the most enjoyable moments, especially for me as a female, because I would constantly see the amount of men that we actually send on the program, a hundred and something, two hundred. We may have almost three hundred men on the program and we only had one female. So the ratio was out. Significantly the ratio was out. And when that I can consider that to be a gender balance moment for us where we have as much women not in ratio with the men, but that is a significant amount of females at any one given time to go on, a pro on the program. What excites me most is the, the different climate, because you know we're hot here, so farming here and farming in Canada are two different things. So the experience for more farming, to be deeper into farming. The first thing, making more money. The second, um, just to experience a different different culture, just to see how they go about and you know the different things they do, if it's different from ours and you know just to experience that. Well I enjoy planting my own crop, eating my own food and being in touch with nature is a very good thing. The thing I love the most about farming is playing in the ditch. Yeah, I don't mind the needles, you know, that's why you're getting dirty or not, you understand? But another thing I like too, when you start um, ripping out what you have planted, it feels so nice. You know, you know you grew that with love from the soil. To the, it's a very nice experience. Once upon a time, I heard that they were sending a men on the farm. They had a program sending people on the farm, but it was only men. So one day, I came inside there. There was a lady there. I said, you know, my lady, I came to apply for. Um, I heard they're sending people on the farm, you know, to work. Can I get an opportunity? She said, no, you know, there doesn't have any opportunities for lady as yet. So I say, why is only manual sending you and you're giving these opportunities? So she said to me, you know, one day, you know, they're going to have women sending. So when they have anything, they're going to let us know over the radio or over the media. The issue of unemployment has been very high among women. And this is a dent that we are making in that light where our women will get this opportunity to travel to Canada, to engage in employment, to get a decent wage, and they will also help in remittances, where they will send funds back home to help their families, their children, and this is a very positive thing. What is of even greater importance is the level of exposure that our women will get. Sometimes we are confined to the St. Lucian environment and we are not fully appreciative of what happens so that we get opportunities to learn from other practices and best practices. And I'm hoping that these women will learn some new skills, new ideas in their work environment which can be translated to St. Lucia and to enhance the quality of the workforce. What I want to say to the females, and I have continued to say to them that they need to go and make this impression and win the hearts of the employer so that employer would be able to share that news with their colleagues so other farmers would want to request women out of St. Lucia. Well, farming for me is very basic. I know the basic farming. Um, in my backyard, I have my celery, parsley, my peppers, things like that growing. I did it on my own. Well, I plant cucumbers, um, tomatoes, peppers, 
Watermelon, is that my home? Well, I grew up on a farm with my grandparents. I was born and raised on a farm with my grandparents. They planted um, chives, celery, tomatoes, dashing, and all this different stuff. And I used to go there with them on a Sunday, most likely. Well, I've been farming for, from, from since I was a little girl. You know, I raised my, parents, my grandparents on a farm, you know. They show us how to prune, they show us how to plant, they show us how to plow. You know, it's amazing, you know, from time I was a little girl, I like farming, and you know, I get the opportunity to show my experience more about it, so I will go out there and do the best as I can and to make opportunities better for other ladies out there. Well, I, I want to wish all the women well. I want them to take care of their health while they are away, maintain connection with their families, and show respect and appreciation for the employer, and give their best. Do not um, tardy at their work, display high level of efficiency and professionalism at the workplace and try to be very effective and productive citizens of St. Lucia and I want them to see themselves as ambassadors for St. Lucia so that um, we keep flying the flag very high. The OECS has, has been trying to see how much more females that we can get on the program. I know it's not something easy, again, with the regulations of Canada, the accommodation, ensuring that they meet the standards. That has been a challenge for them, but they continue to go out to generate from employers the interest for having women on the program. I am quite pleased that the government is working in collaboration with the OECS in this project. And that is the whole objective of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. That is to help build the capacity of these different governments. And what is of critical importance in this program for me as Minister, not just as Minister of Labor, but also Minister of Gender Affairs. And here we are covering two broad areas where women from Gender Affairs and we are looking at labor in terms of employment. And we find that um, we have to look at the gender crossing issues in the labor force. And I am very pleased that my gender department can play a critical role in creating employment for women. The ECLS is responsible for dealing with any issues that may come up, be that of the employer and the, the worker, be that of workers not being able to agree on issues, be it if there's an emergency, is there, if there's some medical issues, all those are part of the responsibilities of the Eastern Caribbean um, Liaison Service. Um, sometimes if there's a difficulty in the workers being able to reach them, they would reach out to us and we in turn would reach out to them who will then go out and be able to handle whatever the issue is to ensure that the workers are comfortable in Canada and they can continue their contract until they are ready to come home. The OECS has been a force in that it has actually created that synergy, that level of integration in the region and building partnership for us, not just at the local regional level, but also at the international level. And St. Lucia is very grateful for that kind of partnership. And we look forward to a lot more as time moves on.